Howdy y'all, it's your host Road. welcome back to Love It Games. We are continuing on our journey with Life is Strange 2. I have to say, I started the game over, uh, not the whole game, I launched the game this morning and it did not save anything besides us coming to this campground. So, we're gonna go through real quick and redo a few things with Daniel, then we'll uh, start the fire and continue onwards. So, Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to continue off and do a few things and then we'll progress the story. Hope you enjoy and see what we can get into. My feet hurt. Hmm. What's that? <clears throat> That's too high to reach. Daniel! Can you see that? Totally, but what is it? It's your job to find out, if you want. Okay, hold on. Whoa, careful, dude. Come on, what do you see? Oh, looks like fishing bait. Well, let's take it. That's a souvenir. We can hook it on your backpack. Nice. Sweet. Oh yeah, so it did not hold anything that we originally had marked on here. Do all of those. This breaks down everything we've seen. Literally got to scroll down. We've already read this in the last episode, so I'm just trying to get this all going. Daniel's up to. Oh, but... you want to challenge me? Be... On guard, Mr. Frodo. But I'm fighting the tree, not you. The light will purge you. Aww. You're not fun, Sean. You know you're bigger than me. Not fair. Bigger they are, the harder they fall. I've had enough nature for one day. I ran a web like that when I was a kid. Ew. There you go. Quick run around to see if we missed anything. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's hey, really not. Can we build a fire now? Just a minute. <laughs> We're both done for the day. Not today.
He still got the penis on his hand. All right, and I know. We're cave people now. Time to make fire. Okay. Can I help? You have a big mouth like me, so come on. Blow. Yes. Dude, don't blow it out. Sorry. Sorry. I wanted to do it like a movie. Oh, nice. Teddy. It's warming up. Nice. Wish we had more. I know. Me too. Uh, I'm ready for dessert. <laughs> Go ahead. Mm, do you want a piece? Oh. He share and go ahead. <sighs> yeah. For once, I do. I bet. Now I'm the judge, and I say. No Choco Chris for you. Okay. <laughs> Figures you try to get revenge, Judge. Hey, I want a new trial. Too late. Court closed. Mmm. Mmm. So good. That's mean. I wish we had a cheeseburger and a milkshake like yesterday. Oh, dude. That shake was so good. I can't believe we found a diner on the way out here. I want another one. I know. <laughs> we'll get you one. Promise. Wonder if I'll ever go back to school after this. We're almost broke. How do we eat tomorrow? I am so over chips. How long have we been out here? Still no reception. Of course. Can I talk to Daniel? Look, a full moon. Ooh. <laughs> it's not quite full yet, wolf boy. Oh well. There are werewolves for real? We are Dude, the wolves. We are the wolves. See? Ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. You get something ow, howling ow, back. Good I took those and not the beers. Daniel needed this sugar rush. Man, I made a fire tonight. Dad would be proud. Can I talk to Dan? No, I can't. You Feel need to tell him buddy? what's up. Yeah. Feels good to sit down. Sean? Are you mad at me for what happened with Brett? I don't remember everything. It's not your fault. She it really is a... Brett deserved it. Why can't I remember? Uh, that's weird. Um... Uh, don't worry, dude. You were running around all day. You tired out. It happens. He 
You need to tell him what happened, man. Funny how a little food chills Daniel out. Uh, but yeah, he's a boy. I'm so tired. Oh, you look tired. Ready to crash? I've been ready all day. My feet hurt. Gotta take care of them feet. I think we earned some serious rest. I could sleep forever. Not on this ground. <sighs> better than freezing out there, right? Way better. Now we have a real fire. And a secure base. You did awesome today, Daniel. Really? Hell yeah. Yeah, he did. Without you, there's no fellowship. He is the fellowship That's of the ring. Might as well stay open, son. Sleep tight, bro. I bet you wish you brought a second blanket. I remember him commenting that he only needed one. <laughs> Seven nightmares. Hey, bro, wake up. Huh? Sean? What happened? Where's Dad? It's okay. You, you just had a bad dream. That's all. Sean? I'm scared. I keep hearing noises. Uh, no. No, don't be. Uh, everything's cool. But we're alone. You said there were bears or wolves. They're... They're sleeping, like like we should be. And look, our our fire's still roaring. He's all scared, and he should be. You're not telling him a dang thing. Daniel, we'll find a better place tomorrow, okay? And food too. I promise. You promise? Promise. Your electrolytes and everything are going to be dangerously low. It still makes no sense why he grabbed Daniel and Ray. I know he's trying to save his brother, but literally that was the stupidest move he could have done as a young adult. His dad could have got medical treatment. Already, already back on the road? Yeah, I guess we are. Look, it's easier now. We're going downhill. We just gotta keep walking. Yeah. You said things were getting better yesterday. And the day before. So what, we're on day Dana. three? I'm trying my best. Let's walk a little more. Have you not seen any cars? Where we can buy food. I'm sure of it. Are you okay? Yeah. No. I was just thinking about when Harry Thompson wanted to beat me up. Me and Noah traded some games with Harry. But he didn't like his. 
so he said he was gonna get us after school. What did you do? He waited in the gym until he went home. That's it? You should have told me. I tried. But you said to get out of your room. <sighs> I'm sorry, Inano. I should have listened. He did stand up for me. With Brett. For a change. Yeah. Well... Hey, there's something ahead. Yep. Yeah, thank you. the gas station we saw on that sign. What? Alright, so we got a little souvenir, Dan's achievement. Wanted to leave it behind, but Dan insisted. Must have packed a bit of my bag. Definitely didn't mean to get these. But we are now at air station. Camp, chill, fire, poor Daniel's freaking out. He has no clue about dad, you gotta keep it that way. Miss you dad. Fucking go back, no, we gotta keep moving. Shit, my phone's dead. Finally. I thought we'd never get out of these woods alive. Awesome. I'm so hungry for real food right now. We have 40 bucks. Oh, I hear you. We're gonna get food, water, and plus a map. So we can find the best route. All right. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight will be better. I swear. Yeah. How can I someone know. drive with this mess? I'm living in the back. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, I have a special quest for you. What? <laughs> you have to go ask that nice family for some food. What? No way, Jose. Why me? Sean, I don't want to do this. You're older. But you're cuter. Even Lila thinks so. You're awesome with people. Yeah, but I'm asking for their food. Like from homeless or something. Uh, no. We're just foodless. Okay, I'll do it. What do I say? Just be yourself. But don't <laughs> tell them anything about us. Except uh, we're camping. And hungry. Okay. He ain't gonna turn away a hungry kid, are you? More chips. There you what go. They gave me. Whoa, you did it. I knew you could do it, man. The mom was nice. The dad was kind of a weenie. But <laughs> we got chips. You kicked serious ass. And I'm allowed to say that. All right. Before we go in, I want to walk around, look around. At least Daniel gets a little Halloween spirit. Wish we can sleep in here tonight. In a real bed. Nah. I'm fine. I'm too young. Yeah, if they're brown, lay down. If they're black, fight back. Nah. Too much traffic. Um, maybe some other time. Sean? Uh, I'm on so. Billy. Yeah, after the night we just had. Sean? You see that sign? Warning? You were right. We could have been eaten. But I wasn't that scared. Was I? Nah. You were totally brave. Nachos and cerveza? Oh, you sound like an expert douchebag. Hey, look. They're gonna teach us Spanish. Este tipo es un idiota. 
No thanks. I already have one. Oh, shit, they're still looking for us. Please search for suspect Sean or Daniel Diaz. Around. Not right now. You should actually check that as kindling. You rest your feet for a moment there, buddy. Dad always had a thing for gas stations. We stopped at so many on our road trips. They always have the best souvenirs. He says they're all kind of the same. They feel familiar. Almost like home. Kinda do. Same bad coffee. Same nasty toilets. Same food. But I don't feel at home at all. Well, you did the stupid thing and run away, so now you're like a suspect. Sean, I'm hungry. Can we go eat something, please? Um, yeah. Sorry. Just daydreaming. Okay. Let's go. Last night was so cold. I don't even want to think about ice. Anything on this hey, side? Sean. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> Who's there? Europe. Europe who? No, Europe who. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? Is that even a joke? Europe who? Europe who? <laughs> What kind of name is Stamper anyway? <laughs> it's the last name. The gas station is closed, so are we. Jeez, chill out, folks. Nobody wants to go to your weird house anyway. Just looking around. Damn. Why do they let this rust out here? I know Dad would be able to fix it. Yeah. If he's alive. Maybe not that one, dude. He has to finish your car first. Yeah. I know. This is just too many there. bears. I wonder if the big one is their dad. <laughs> that are bros. Kind of creepy, huh? Nah, I think they're cute. We should have one at home. Dad would love it. No way we're carrying a freaking log around, dude. <sighs> okay. Right. Work in progress, more inside. Sean, you sure it's Do okay? Do they make actual okay. money doing this? What do you say? We're just walking around. That's a lot of work. What the? Something's under that cookie box. Okay. Be gentle. Fly. Be free. I'm left you a feather. Not bad, Sean. It sucks I can't do Halloween at home. I'm not even sure what kind of bird you are. But I'll keep this. California plates. Maybe they can help us. Why is that a thing? I wonder what they're doing here. Looks like they're Maybe eating. They got some extra food. Um, hi again. Yes. Thanks for the chips. That's very generous. Your little brother told us you were sick. I hope it'll help. It will. Thank you. So, are you guys just visiting, or <laughs> it's kind of out of the way here? Just passing through on our way to Vancouver to check on our new home, all the way from California. Yeah. 
like everybody else in Vancouver. Oh, that's cool air. We're from Seattle. That's nice. I just love the weather up here. Yeah, who loves the sun? Can't wait for all that snow. I hate the snow. Oh, that's not that bad. But I don't know about Vancouver. It's lovely according to the books. Oh, jeez. You and your books. We'll see. Hey, happy Halloween. My brother's a zombie. Don't you have a costume? Nuh-uh. I'm 11 years old. Halloween is for kids. Halloween is for everyone. My brother loves it. I don't. I'm almost 12. Kids always want to be adults. If only they knew. So, exactly. how old are you? Uh, he's nine. I'm almost ten. Uh, it's a really nice weather for a picnic. Isn't it? So, what are you boys doing this gorgeous day? Don't lie. Uh, camping for the weekend. But, um, uh, we... My dad forgot to bring our groceries, so we had to come here. Oh no, I hope you didn't have to walk far. Where Several miles. I don't know the name of the spot. It's over there. That way. You don't know the name of your campsite? Hmm. Okay. Do you mind? We're kind of busy. Yes, we are a little busy. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay, dicks. Can't even check my god. There might be some leftovers in it. There's nothing to do here. Fuck, is this not while these people are here? It's cool we found Don't want to freak them out. Better clean up before we look like the gutter punks downtown. Hey! Come on in. Let's wash them off. Oh, I'm coming. Probably cleaner than the toilet. Y'all are at. Stop watching me, perv. What's he looks like one of your drawings. You don't flush. We call it cops. <laughs> Make a mess at your own risk. The management. Keep our bathrooms clean. Oh, shit. My face. You look older, dude. You want to clean up, fill your water. Ah, cool. I know. So wash fast. Ugh, my hands are ice cubes. Okay, you're done. Nice. Free water for us. Better than trying to get it out of the stream. Hopefully. This seat right there. Are we good to go or do you need to Ma, it's okay. I went in the woods just before we got here. Cool. This bear shit in the woods. I want cocoa. Honey. This is a gas station. All right, let's go on. Hello there. Whoa, Sean. Hey. They have Choco Crisp. <laughs> Dad would have loved this so much. We witch. God's gas. Okay. That would be P R O P A N. See the baby bear, Daniel? Oh, that is awesome, possum. I mean, bear. So cool. And he's all yours. We have a surplus, as you could tell. Really? <laughs> he's nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Wow, did something interesting happen here? Oh, 
That's my husband up there. He built this place 30 years ago. That's cool. Who's the guy with him? Is that supposed to be someone famous? Yep. That's a famous Hollywood director or something. He made a show up here, but we don't watch TV. Nice man. Don't think he liked our coffee. <laughs> yeah. We're not from around here. Get over it. Don't worry. We'll get you a new family soon. That was awkward. Perfect. We should be able to find our way with this. Oh, man. Go that on. so cool. It's actually free. Cool. Thanks. It's a real nice map. You'll find lots of great hiking trails around here. He's nice. Hi. What are you looking at? Staring hey at me. Well, I'm actually doing research. It's, uh... Right. I'll just bust out my platinum card. Hmm. Never heard of that team. I know these kind of things. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm sure you do. What's your name? Daniel. Hi, Daniel. I'm Brody. He seems nice. Hey, hi. Uh, sorry about my brother. <laughs> oh, don't be. He's awesome. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this creep looking at? Uh, no. I don't mean... I mean, it's not as weird as it seems, though. These people, they only want to live a normal life. Just naked. I mean, if they're not harming anyone, who's to say they're wrong? Nobody. Yeah, I agree. Yes, why should we all be the same? Who says so? <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting carried away. Name's Brody. I'm kind of an online traveling journalist. Sean. What's a online traveling journalist? Just a fancy name for someone who drives around in a car, writing about people and stuff. There's a few websites that pay me for these papers since I know how to write. Nice to meet you, man. You traveling with your brother? Yeah. We're on the road, going south. Good for you. The best way to learn is on the road. The earlier, the better. Is it Seth Rogen, Phil? Well, I'd love to talk and avoid work all day, but I'm already up against the deadline. You continue looking at naked Safe people. Safe travels, dudes. Thanks, man. See you around. Okay. He actually seems cool. I want to be a raccoon. I'm too nervous to drink any coffee. Do not drink that coffee. If you like coffee. Okay. See you later, Mr. Raccoon. Maybe Dad will. Hot dog. Yes, gas station food is nasty. <laughs> but I like it. I could eat dozens of these. You got some cash, you should go ahead and use it. I'm Daniel. What exactly are you doing all the way out here? It's a secret adventure. Is that so? Sounds Lila would love that. And that's cool. Arts and craft festival. You make all these bears? Oh no. I won't take any credit for the bears. That's all on my husband. He won't stop me. Maybe not as good as dad's. Oh, no matter how much. But yummy. Oh, I think they're so cute. Well, good for you. Sure glad somebody does. Hey, what about that? We could use that. Can't believe how lost we are. Thank Dang, God. Dang, $69. Um, what's that? Shit. We could just camp out in here. I know Daniel would love to have a souvenir. Oh man. Daniel would love that thing. Way to expect pretty sweet. After the forest. Like another world. Hey! Check out the puppy! Of course they did. Why the fuck not? 
Oh, he is cute. Yeah, it's a dog. Oh, a puppy. Sure, super cute doggy. You ready? Is this yours? No, just another stray mutt. Aw, he must be sad. What's his name? That's a she. Oh, right. Oh, can we have the puppy? No. Please? No. Sorry, man. No way we're taking a dog with us. We need adults to take care of her, not kids. See? Sorry about that. Now let's go. But... Who sends postcards? Boring. Wish I could send Lila a postcard. Seven. Like a regular holiday trip. God's gas. Okay. That would be P-R-O-P-A. Wish we could join the crew, guys. <laughs> Might on Pupper Road cred. Man. Sorry, dude. I mean, no tourist is gonna do this shit. Man. Look at all that food. Dude. I know. I hope Halloween isn't ruined for Daniel by all this. Dude. Don't look at me like that. I know. Oh, you're not gonna steal. We're gonna add it to basket. It's better than tap water. Light spray isn't gonna do much. <sighs> Never. Hey, man, check this out. Power bear claw. Uh, can we play? I bet it's easy to get a prize. Yeah, no. See all those prizes still inside? Nobody wins, except the machine. Oh. Uh, but hey, we're the Wolf Brothers. Us teach this machine a lesson, right? Yes. So, who goes first? Go get him, little brother. No one can defeat. Ooh, Just... I'm gonna beat this boss. Let's go, Power Bear Claw. Wait till you get a good opening. Not there. It sucks. Don't grab so fast. This is hard. Ugh. Can you try? Nah, we already give it a bug. Sorry, buddy. We can't waste money on that kind of stuff right now. What? That's it? Yeah, I told you. Come on. Let's not waste time on that stupid thing. He already gave him one shot. I just wanted one little power bear. I know, Daniel. But look, we're already surrounded by bears. <laughs> I should turn this thing off. Can't go wrong with these. Let's see. Mac and cheese, where it's good. I don't know how you're going to make that. Is that it? So yeah, it's mac and cheese and we did get chips. Sixty-nine dollars. Well, let's see. Unwilling to adapt to their idiosyncrasies. It's expensive, but I can't let Daniel freeze. All right. Yes, can I help you? You don't look like you're from around here. We live out here We're on a road trip. We're camping. Uh, we're camping. Yeah? Where? I, I can't remember the name. It's not far. I see. So you came here to bother my customers? No, no way. Why are you being rude right now? For directions. So where are your parents?
Dude, no parents allowed. Oh, oh uh, this is just for me and my brother. No parents allowed. By yourselves, all the way out here? Nothing wrong with that. Oh, it's no big deal. Um, just a short field trip. We're not that far from home. Hmm. You don't look like everybody else who stops by. Do monsters drink? Looks like you're all set to go. Is that it? Yeah. I think so. Okie dokie. Let's ring you up. And there's the damage. Edge. Okay. We got that. Thanks much. All right, here's your change. Cool. Thanks. Now you actually have a sleeping bag. Ready, Daniel? It's weird how I'm relieved to see all this stuff. Dude's whole family left him. Don't come at me all saying you're bothering your customers when we literally just bought $30 Seriously, worth of shit. Who's buying all these wooden bears? Oh, we do have a sale on our famous bears. Buy one, get one free. He has a cute dog. First thing you could do is try to take the dog with you. Not put on that. All right. Hey, look! Empty table. Oh, let's grab it and check out this map. Now I can look for food. Yay. A fucking half eaten apple. You never know. <sighs> well, it's food. If we don't eat it, nobody will. All right. Time to plan our next stop. It's our table now. <laughs> Yep. Let's see. What do we got here? This is a ton of food. I thought we were broke. Not today, Jay. So let's grow out. This is our choco. Really? You got me a choco crisp? Of course I did. You deserved it. Yes, that dude was an owner. Where are you guys off to now? Uh, south, I guess. Right on. Pro tip don't feed the bears. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Whoa, that's a big map. <sighs> yeah. Hope I can read it. Maps are super easy to read. Especially when they have a legend. Is this supposed to be Washington? I don't recognize anything. Yeah, me neither. But we have to be somewhere in there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station. See? Nah, no way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday. But it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah, okay. We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. We're probably about there. Or you could be all the way down here. I don't know how far south you actually walk. All right. This is it. Are you sure? Yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. 
You want to walk a whole week again? Ah, but it looks cool. Hold on, I'll find where we can go. We can go right there. Hey kids, looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah, just going over trails and stuff. Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be watched. Huh? What do you mean? We sure just... hope you pay for all that. We don't tolerate shoplifters. Uh... We did. Sir, we paid for this. And the map was free. Well, let's go inside. You can show us what you bought. Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. Don't make this worse for yourself. You didn't shoplift a single thing, you damn prick. We're not going to attack. We're not going to flee. Those are both bad options. Uh, excuse us, sir. We were just hiking. I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. Come on. Uh, but we have to get going. Sean? Uh, it, it's okay. Look, our our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me. Don't do it, boy. Let go. Uh, Don't touch oh, you my did. brother. But now he's attacking two kids. We didn't steal a damn thing, but now we're going to burn the motherfucker down. Screw you and your family business. Hi. Officer Buell? Tank. Hank Stamper. Listen, I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Ah, oh, you beat the shit out of two children. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Fuck this dude. Oh, Have shit. Daniel blow up the building. Daniel. No, no, no. Time to ruin this dude's livelihood. Don't do this to me. Police will get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, Hank? I don't know. Then they'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so, Ben. Well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh, hey there. You finally awake? Think you're a big man hitting Sorry two children? Sorry to you. But if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? We'll end up cutting off your testicles, you piece of shit. I'm gonna tell the police you kidnapped me. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. I saw it in the paper. Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Fuck you, hillbilly. I'm American. He's a fucking hillbilly. Oh, now you're gonna kick him in the head? Whatever. Going to jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. He didn't steal a damn thing, but you just beat what two children. Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him, you think I'd hurt a little boy? You already did. If you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out into the middle of nowhere, though, that's real safe for a little kid. He's lucky. Fuck he this dude. up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go. Please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. We didn't steal a single thing. We should have now, though. What a piece of shit. Come on. It's only plastic. Fuck. Daniel must be scared shitless. I can't leave him out there. Okay. Looks like he's gone for now. Wonder if I could get more light from it.
Yeah, we get it. You're the perfect Americans. Oh, fuck this dude. I'm sorry, but you married an asshole. Yeah, she did. I don't... Oh, yeah. This racist shithead is a real pillar of the community, all right. Daniel? I'm right here. Are, are you okay? I, I, I think so. That old guy chased me into the woods, but... I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, Emmanuel. You're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta hurry, though. He called the cops on us. Think, dude. There's gotta be a way out of here. There's a window over there. Maybe you can find a way in or something. Um, I can't do anything. It is. But be careful. It might attract him. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. Here we try. Hey, you think you can open the back door? Can you try and open the yep. this vent? Yes. Ouch. It hurts. Sorry, Sean. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. Sean, is there bears out in the woods right now? Right. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. <sighs> Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Grab the dude's chainsaw. I, I think I saw a big file thing in the workshop with all those bear sculptures. I know you can find it. Okay, I'll try. Doing the little jiggy jig. Come on, Sean. Sean. We gotta hurry I before the something. police gets here. Is this what you wanted? This is it. You rule, Daniel. Come on, let's do this. Ash with. Good job, bro. Move forward with W. Sean? What's going on? Almost there. I'm trying to get the hell out of here. Come on, you mother! Yes! Score! Pick up. Did you do it? Here, here. Come on. Okay. Cool. Hold on. Come on. Yes! Sean! Oh, God. 
I was so scared. What happened to your face? That old bastard happened. Okay. We need to cut this off fast. How about these? Dude, Brock. Did that asshole see you? No way. I'm invisible. Yeah, you are. Alright, cut okay. the power cable on the computer, no, lay it on the ground so it'll burn the place down. What happened? What? What did you do? Uh, I don't know. Kick him. I don't know what happened. It's okay. What I still say that? burn it down. Yeah, we're gonna steal the camping gear now. After what he did to us. You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your life. The hell with you. Pick him. Knock out and steal. We were doing the right thing until I you were being you violent. Leave us alone. Sean, what are you doing? Daniel, yeah, come on. He deserved every bit what he just got. Come on. Come on. <sighs> We did the right thing until he abused us. Shit. Dude should be in prison. Where are we going? Sean! Watch out! Over there. Let's go. I don't know. Whoa, whoa. What are you doing out here, man? Almost scared the shit out of me. You guys okay? Don't look okay. That asshole at the gas station. They're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, say no more. I believe you. Okay. She's crazy out in the woods. Get in, you two. Hurry up before he catches us. Brody is our bro, man. Screw that dude. Can't believe he just started beating on the kids. Even if you saw and wanted to make any type of inference of what happened in Seattle, which it wasn't right that Sean just got up and left, you don't just start kicking a dude in the head, zip tie him to your pole in your back room. That's like Damn, sexual that deviant crap crazy. right there. I was having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Did he mess with you too? He started too earlier, but I bought too much stuff just to piss him off. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. Where Bigfoots and Mexicans only lived in one place, creepy wooden bears. Those creepy wooden bears should have been a red flag. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You could call that place the Bear Witch Project. Yeah, you could. <laughs> yeah. We should have turned back straight away. Sucks as we wasted well, so much money in there. You little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <laughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. Took the dang puppy. A whole other mouth to feed. <sighs> Daniel. What? We saved her. <laughs> We're heroes. Are you kidding me? We can't keep a dog. But... Uh... We couldn't leave her with those mean people. <laughs> Don't give up, Daniel. He's on the ropes. Jeez, come on. We no. Need a dog. No, you don't. Bet Dad would agree. <sighs> just, just stop. 
You win, but you better really take care of her. Deal. Thanks, Sean. She's gonna be so quiet. And, and, and what should we name her? Hey, your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about, uh, mushroom? A mushroom, that's cute. Totally looks like a mushroom. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Not much of a girl's name, though. Who cares? I'm sure she loves it. So do I. <laughs> All right. Mushroom it is. Then. I like the Corgi Pizza stickers. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. This dude Thanks, is all about dogs too. He had a pug sticker as well. You got the best name ever now. <laughs> Mushroom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Yeah, it does. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money, but no soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protests, try to make some positive change. That's good. Yeah, whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. That is true. So, how do you make money? <laughs> Spoken like a real American. <laughs> Just curious. Now that we're urban nomads too, if you have any tips. I sell shit. Like a good capitalist. Stories when I can. eBay when I can't. My biggest expense is gas and food, so it's easy. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, uh, I'd be like my family. Very well End said. Day, we have to watch out for each other, right? That is true. Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah. And feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Driving at night is fun. Night is kind of mysterious. Drove from the Grand Canyon all the way back to Oklahoma. One straight drive almost entirely at night. That... That was interesting. Started at night, became day, became night, became day. <laughs> but it's peaceful. And the drive to Vegas a few times. Whole new adventure. And I'm assuming there's copyright music playing because they went completely quiet. And normally I'd say it's not right to steal, but that dude kidnapped us and abused Yeah. He actually attacked both kids. And he's a racist. He had paid for all of our stuff and he wanted to be freaky with some boy in his back room. Some weird pedophile stuff. Is pretty. Oregon is like the edge of the world. 
Hmm. Figuring out another state. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. He's an internet I, dude. I'm sure I he knows. I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It wasn't it your was the fault. Police. It's their fault. Daniel just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then, then, fucking cops. Hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. This dude could write your side of the story and publish it. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere. It is. And you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? Don't be cynical, though. My life feels like, like that town down there, wiped out, destroyed. Oh, I didn't even realize it. That was uh, empty. Arcadia Bay, wasn't it? Like I have nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. Oh, I didn't even think about that. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. This dude's a real bro. I can bro. tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. No, you're not. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking, get out of the country, fuck it, go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. But I you don't have anything in traveler. Mexico. Should I go back? Yes, 100%. Seattle? Yes. Maybe I can try and explain everything. 100%. What happened? You should do what you think is best. You should if never have left. Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No. No way. She's... I thought she was dead. Is she not? The dad... He always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's got to be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. You should legitly give him your story to write. 
For all the souls lost in Arcadia Bay Storm, October 11, 2013. Listen, time won't forget I'll drop you. drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. That was Arcadia Bay destroyed. I didn't realize it. I don't think you ever should have left Seattle. I think you should have explained that because none of that was your fault. <laughs> okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. <laughs> um, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! I actually get up now. Guess I could play a little with these two. Too bad sandcastles never last. No, they don't like bugs. Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay. But I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. You don't want to throw it too far. Come on, mushroom. Get it. Go, mushroom. And see if he'll actually fetch it. It's a different stick, <laughs> but that's fine. Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. Now she wants me to throw the stick. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. <laughs> you go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, Mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. Come on, Mushroom. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. Yeah. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It is true. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Brody is a bro. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Nice. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, a tribe called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can. 
okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. He is a really down to earth guy. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. No. So now we only have 10 bucks left. Oh no, we got 40 bucks left. Let's see. Whoa. It was not expecting that. We got our should be grateful to have for the night. Yeah. Brody's letter. Left a letter in the background. He sounds really worried for us. Sean, I'm a better writer than I am speaker. That's why I'm writing a letter while you and Daniel are asleep in the car. Sorry I can't take you further, but there's a good reason for it. As dysfunctional as it can be, family's family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah where my mom is currently losing her battle against cancer. And I have to be there. I'll find a few dollars in the backpack. That's all the cash I have left. You need it more than me. Your goal is good and you need to follow your instinct. But please be careful and protect your brother no matter what. To see when you tell him the truth about Seattle, that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people who can, you can truly rely on. In any case, I think you're safer there than you are here. A dead cop in the current state of things can't be a good way to start negotiations. I wish I could have met you two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I, that I could help you the best way I could. So I do know the cop did die. All right. Take care, Brody. P.S. Hit me up when you're safe. Tribe called Lost. I'm online when not driving. It's been a while since I have used a pen. Hope you decipher. Alright, so... Yeah, it'd be great help for us to write tonight, even though I had to steal it. Definitely Brody's. He must have forgotten when he passed the backpack to me. Reckon's letter. I felt guilty that I, I took this, but the ass allowed to come and Daniel needs to stay alone. Hey, we were all good until he attacked us. Truckers will never be homeless, hungry, and naked. I can't believe what a dick that dude was. Alright. Hello, real world. I almost broke, but we needed supplies. Need to check out how else we are. Never cool. Nosy bitch. Put that fire and suck out. What? Holy shit. Crazy racist played sheriff and trapped me in the shithole. Daniel saved my ass. Kid is brave as fuck. What the fuck happened after earthquake? Bumped into a weirdo while running away. He saved us. How awesome. Feeling uh, safe for the first time since the idol thanks to Brody. Also, we picked up odd mushroom on the way. Probably a bad idea, but whatever makes Daniel smile again. I'll have to tell him at least now I know where we're off to. Our phone is still dead. Well, we know we're upstairs. Before we do that, we're going to call it an episode there. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Was it right for us to take the stuff after the dude kidnapped us, assaulted us, and was going to do who knows what with us in his back room as we were chained up? He attacked both Sean and Daniel. I think we did the right thing by taking all the crap.
Because we originally had bought everything. He had no reason to assault both of the children. Even if he thought he knew what was going on with the whole thing in Seattle, he was just being racist. But I'm curious what your opinion is. You think it was right for us to take the stuff? You think it was better to just left? I don't know. Curious what you say. But we'll see you in the next episode. Have a good day. Peace.